expect the unexpected. She's a sweet widow from Nebraska. He's an old metalhead with metal in his head and covered in tattoos. Now that's a twist. All right, Big Brother fans, it's time, time once again. Hey, you know they left you hanging with the HOH competition. Well, guess what? We know who HOH is, and we also knew who the nominees are. So yeah. we're going to talk about that and more on this one. All kinds of drama, as usual. All kinds of drama, all kinds of drama. But before we get into that good, juicy stuff, I got to say something. These people are really starting to annoy me. I'm telling you. They're really starting to annoy me. And not all of them, but a lot of them are, especially Fessel. What's Fessel doing? Oh, my goodness. He is just, he's being a big jerk. Big Brother's yelling at him constantly. Now, when you're watching the live feeds, you know, first of all, they're supposed to be awake from 10 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night because, hey, people are watching. People pay to watch live feeds. They want to see what's going on. We don't want to watch you laying in bed all day. So they tell them they have to be up about and awake. Well, these people lay around all the time and do absolutely nothing. The other day I was watching and all I heard for a half hour was Big Brother yelling at Fessy, please exchange your microphone for one in the storage room. He wouldn't budge. He yelled at him three, four different times. Still didn't move. When he finally did move, he walked to the kitchen, opened the refrigerator, started digging food out while he was looking at himself in the mirror, playing with his hair and cooking at the same time, which was really grossing me out. But um, still. Wasn't doing anything he was told. And then little JC, he runs around. All, as soon as there's a camera on him, we see fish. <laughs> whenever, whenever they do something they're not supposed to, they cut to the fish tank and we get to see fish and listen to the dent, 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 you know, the little song. Oh, yeah. And, uh, guess what? People don't pay to watch the live feeds to watch the fish tank because JC sings constantly. And there's a copyright thing, so Big Brother's yelling at him, and then we get fish. And I think they need to start giving out penalty noms, and even more than that, they need to say, you know that stipend you're getting for being in here? Yeah. You don't listen? I'm going to tell you twice. Three times, 100 bucks. Fourth time, another 100 bucks. 100 bucks, 100 bucks. We're going to take it. Oh, yeah, and JC, you want to sing? All right. So whatever song you're singing, when we ever get that bill for the copyright, guess who's paying it? You are. So run around the yard and sing away, my friend, because at the end of the summer, you're going to owe us money. But no, they let them run around and do whatever they want. They don't listen. You signed a contract to be on a damn TV show. It's no surprise. So be on a TV show and entertain me or get off. <laughs> They are like children. Who raises these people? I, I mean, know. really, half the stuff they do, if I had done when I was six years old, I would have gotten punished for. Oh. It's just bizarre. Sorry for the rant, folks, but come on. It's a TV show. You signed up for a TV show. You were happy to be on a TV show. Half of you got big old heads because when you get out of here, you think you're going to be big movie stars, TV stars, or Instagram models, or whatever you want to be. But you lay around in a bed or lay beside the pool all day. You do nothing. It's TV. Do something. All right. How do you feel now? Uh, well. <laughs> you feel better? <laughs> a little bit. All except one thing. Well, the, the HOH competition, it was, it was a good one. It's, it's a standard. Nothing surprising. You know, nothing new. It was that, you know. The slippery slope one, putting the water in. Slip and slide. Yeah, so uh, you guys got to see it on the show. But as far as I'm concerned, Haley has HOH week number two because... Fessy won. Fessy and his long legs striding across that slippery slide. And poor little JC was just beep, 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 beep. And... Fessy's just leaping across it. It was, uh, it was something to watch, that's for sure. Yep. So big, goofy, baby Huey, as I like to call him. Fessy won. You know, the one that sat on the sink and ripped it off the wall and laughed about it. But anyway, <laughs> don't get me started again. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Fessy won. But, uh, again, it's 
Haley, week number two, because you know the secret alliance that isn't so secret. Everybody knows <laughs> all about those two. But yeah. uh, so she's in his ear, and then little JC, his little talking brain, he's in his other ear. But uh, yeah, Fessy wanted to put up uh, what Tyler and Angela, didn't he? Yeah. Yep. He wanted to, but his girlfriend said, no, 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 no. We need to get the guys out. And Fessy was like, oh, yeah, get the guys out. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a guy. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Yeah. So she tells him she wants all the guys out, even though he's a guy. So what does Goofball do? Who does he put up instead of Tyler and Angela? Scotty and Brett. Two guys. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Which, I don't know. He has so got it so bad for Haley. He'll do anything she tells him to do. Anything. And those, those two are a threat to his relationship with Haley because she's been cuddling with them, too. Well, she cuddles with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, her and Brett talk about yeah, naming their first child and Scotty and his, oh, I'm so infatuated with you. Smitten. That's right. That's the word he uses. Smitten. Yeah. And she she just sits up there and she just talks all kinds of game with him. They were up on the, I guess they call it the bridge over there. We're up by the foosball table and Scotty was laying down and Haley was sitting right next to him on the floor. He was on a little couch and they were just talking game, talking game, talking game. And he's just like Fessy is. The little 21-year-old bats her eyes and says something and Scotty just goes, Whatever you want, whatever you want. And again, Fessy won HOH, but Haley, week number two for Haley. Because <laughs> she, whatever she says, goes. Yep. And I never seen so much hair stroking since I retired from doing hair full time. Holy cow, that's all those boys do is stroke their hair. <laughs> it's just kind of a bizarre behavior. But she's yeah. just like flinging her hair across their chest and she uses it to, I don't know. I, it's, it's just the weirdest thing. Yeah. I guess you got to do what you got to do to win big brother. And she's always worried about what her Paul Paul thinks, but uh, apparently she ain't worried that damn much. <laughs> yeah. She's using what she's got. She's so young. I mean, I have underwear older than her. She is so, so young, and you can tell. You know, she was, a, she was in junior high five years ago. You know, that's, she's really young. That's what I always say. I got, I got habits work older than she is. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting. It is interesting. But we got to talk about your girl. We got to talk about your girl, Sam. Oh, Sam. I don't know. I'm a little worried about Sam. I'm worried she's not stable. I really am blind to you. She's, she seems to be really losing it. She had a nice little uh, chit-chat with Brett in the have-not room, which yeah. was very, very interesting. Yeah, she seems to have a crush on Brett, and um, I think she's misinterpreting their friendship a little bit. What do you think? Well, I think Sam is either batshit crazy or an evil genius. Ooh. And I'm not sure which one. Hear me out here, folks. Hear me out. Now, now you're going to think I'm batshit crazy. But listen. This should All be right. good. All right. Well, fill him in on a little bit of the conversation so they have some little context and some backstory about her and the little Brett conversation about how they're in love now. And <laughs> she seems to be under the impression that Brett is, uh, ha holds a little flame in his heart for her. And she just wants to make sure that he's not just toying with her because she apparently has feelings for him and they're now going to be the two to the end. And Brett was kind of, playing it on without dragging her too far in. Yeah. He was, you know, giving her the head nod and, mm -hmm. was, you know, 
And he was kind of like, yeah, 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 without crushing her dreams and spirits and while he's still playing a game, which I think he's playing a very good game, in my opinion. Yes. But yes. here's the thing. Is she nuts or is she an evil genius? Here's my theory, folks. Stick with me. Now, if you remember, I even mentioned it in one of our videos. Brett was outside and he was telling everybody, I think it was Angela and Tyler to be exact. He said, you guys underestimate Sam. She's playing this game exactly the way she wants to. She's doing what she wants to, the way she wants to. This isn't no act. This, this, is, this is what she did. This is intentional, and you guys are underestimating her. All right, so here's my theory. She runs around. She does all the laundry. She cooks. She cleans. She does everything, and she just lovey-dovey with everybody. She gives her a little, oh, are you sad? Let me come over here and talk to you for the next hour and say the same thing over and over and over again, but reassure you that you're all right. Now. Tyler told her about, you know, when she was a little upset, Tyler told her that, no, I, I have the secret power. He, she is the only one he told. I have the secret power, so don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. So she got a little upset. Well, I thought we were close, and why didn't you tell me earlier? So they had their little conversation outside, and he's like, no, no, no. She, and he, she says, well, I thought you'd replace me with Angela. No, no, no. It's you and me. You and me. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not Angela now? You know? And she was doing little puppy dog eyes and rolling her head. And he was like, no, no, no. We've had our thing since day three, girl. You and me. You and me. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. You and me to the end. Yeah. Pinky swear. You know, her little pinky swear. So everything's cool. Her and Tyler to the end. Friends to the end till they die. All right. So now we got uh, right before Bailey, first person in the jury, I must remind you, I haven't, haven't talked to Bailey much, but in the last three days, me and Bailey have gotten really, really close. Sit on the edge of the couch, cry, whine, boo, hoo, 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 and all this other stuff acted up. Bailey goes. So Bailey's gone. Now, who do we do? Boom. Zero in. Target. Rockstar. Me and Rockstar are best buds. Really hate to see her go. We got so close. Who's in the jury now? Rockstar. Now, okay. she goes to Brett. Well, Rockstar told me that she thinks that you kind of have a secret little crush on me and that you're secretly in love with me and we, and you have feelings and, uh, and, um, I'm, I'm, is that true? And he's like, no, no, no. Oh, so I got that all wrong and blah, blah, blah. Well, how about we pretend, how about we pretend that we have this thing going on and it's you and me. Now I have this thing, this number one to the end, but I could change it and make it number two and make you my number one to the end. Now I know I'm going to the little house. I don't care about winning. So I know I will do whatever it takes to get you further. Even if it means I got to go to the little house over you, I'll do this. And who's on the block now? Not saying he's going to go, but who's on the block and who may go to jury. Who's doing jury management better than anybody in this house. Tyler. No. Everybody in that jury hates Tyler and would never vote for Tyler. Mm -hmm. Who's doing jury management? Who's doing everybody's laundry? Who's cooking? Who's stroking hair? Who's talking sweet? Who's making pinky promises? She didn't care about anybody else before. Was she crying about Rachel? No. Why not? Because Rachel ain't going to the jury. Bailey, rock star. Now she put Brett, and she tell, oh, see, now me and JC, we're in the middle, and everybody wants us because, you know, they don't know where we're going to go, so they think they can pull us, so, but no matter what happens, Brett, you and me to the end, right? So she's got Tyler, she, now she's got Brett, whether he believes it or not or whatever he's going to do, but you know he's going to go back to the other side of the house and say, whatever I want, no matter what happens, Sam she votes with us. If I tell her this, she's going to vote with us. She's doing jury management. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He said it a while ago. Sam would be the best person to take to the end. Mm-hmm. Why? Because you never win against her. Mm-hmm. Or is that the truth? Because in the speeches, all you got to do, stand up if you're Sam and go, what did I do? I didn't evict you, 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 or you. I wasn't on either one side. I didn't take sides. I voted with my heart. I did your laundry. I cooked for you. I scrubbed the bathroom. I rubbed your feet. I did your hair. I shaved your back. I did all this. I don't have any blood on my hands. I never did anything to eat at any of you people, but I'm here. Vote for me. And I know I would. <laughs> yeah. Or even if at, at jury, when, when she does her little speech, if she happens to be in the last two, if she drops the whole sweet little voice and the little Southern accent and goes, well, <laughs> you yeah. know, talks like some sophisticated New Yorker and, and, and she's got everybody snowed. And goes, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh only in a perfect world will that happen so this I might be a stretch that. it might be a stretch folks but i'm telling you that shit crazy or evil genius <laughs> nobody just think just think nobody is doing jury management better than her right now so let us know down in the comments yeah. am i bad shit crazy or am i on to something let me know what you think She's something. She has made this show interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, because she ran around acting like some 40-year-old house frown, you know, cooking, cleaning, scrubbing, and everything. And then all of a sudden, boom. I mean, she is 27. So now all of a sudden she gets into the little have-not room with Brett and turns on the 20-year-old charm, batting her eyelashes. Let's pretend we're in love. I'm like, oh, my Lord. (laughs) Yeah. Well, the girls aren't threatened by her either because she's not she's not flirting in that way. She's just nice to everybody, and she's doing everybody's hair and braiding. <laughs> Haley has a new braid in her hair every single day, and everybody who couldn't love that. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is, she says, "I really thought, I really thought Fessy was gay. I even told them I thought he was gay." <laughs> I don't get a gay vibe from Fessy. I don't either, but you know what? If Haley would have any kind of feelings that, oh, man, Sam was hugging on Fessy. Well, that's because I thought he was gay and I thought he was safe, just like JC. I kiss him on the forehead and kiss him on the cheek because I know he's gay. I thought Fessy was gay. See? Evil genius. She's covering her tracks. She's doing jury management. Don't piss off Haley. Don't piss off anybody in the house from here on out because they're all going to jury. She is the only one doing jury management. Yeah, you're, you might be right there. She, I, I remember her saying that she, she sleeps with JC because he's, you know, he's gay and he's, yeah. he's the safest. He's the only person she'll sleep with. See, I would love to see, I think for me, the final two would be Tyler and Angela because they've both been playing similar games. And I think it would be a yeah. hard for me to choose if, if I was in jury to sit there and look at both of them, it would be a hard choice because I think they both played very well. I think Brett's playing a very good game too. Yeah, he is. But look at Ty, like I said, Tyler, Angela, neither one of them girls are in the jury right now would vote for either one of them. No, they wouldn't. You're right. You're right. Speaking of Tyler and Angela, do you think they're in a showmance? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think. Hmm. I don't know. The la- they've been pretty cozy the last couple of days, but, you know, they're working together, too. So. Well, she, she used to be, I don't want to say cozy, but she used to be kind of close and a little bit flirty. Not crazy like Haley was, but you know, a little bit flirty with Brett for a little while, a couple of weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. So I think she's just, uh, I don't see her, I don't see her playing one, playing that kind of a game. And I don't see her as a, uh, a dumb girl. No, she's not. She's not a dumb girl at all. And uh, we got to, we got to remember that KC, she's still in the middle of all this too. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like the little quiet sniper, you know, you really kind of forget she's there. 
But that girl ain't dumb neither. She's playing she's playing pretty good. There's a lot of people playing pretty good games. So when it gets down to it, it's going to be interesting. It really is. This has just been a great year. But I think, I think, and remember, remember when I called Angela, the little girl that nobody knew was even there? We yeah, I sure do. The wallpaper. Mm-hmm. And I said, watch. And sure enough, boom, she came out of the woodwork and just destroyed shit. <laughs> yeah. That is a smart strategy, though, to lay low the first few weeks of the game. I mean, you really gain a lot of ground doing that. Well, I'm going to tell you now. Keep your eye on Crazy Sam. Yeah. Is she crazy or is she an evil genius? <laughs> tell you. She's, if she's an evil genius, she's brilliant. I'm telling you, that is, that's the amazing. I mean, if she does pulls that off, she'll be winning Emmy awards for that one. Yeah, it's been a it's been I think a little bit unexpected for production this season. A lot of things have happened that they did not plan on. Yeah. Yeah, because even this HOH usually goes for hours and it didn't. Right. It was over yeah. real quick. That was kind of a that was bad, really. Yeah. For production wise, that wasn't very good content. No, it wasn't. But there you have it, folks. Plain and simple. And you know, we wrap it up in a nice little bow for you. This one's real easy. Fessy won the HOH. But we all know that Haley's telling him what to do. And he put up Brett and Scotty. That's it. That's what we got. But we'll be keeping an eye out. And we will tell you who won the veto and if it was used. So stay tuned. And don't forget. Put down that comment. What do you think, Sam? Crazy or an evil genius? <laughs> it's going to be fun. I hope she's a genius. I hope you're right. So <laughs> bad, I hope you're right. We shall see. Only one way to find out. Keep watching Big Brother and keep watching us. And listen to our opinions and see what we had to say about these crazy people locked in the house. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to come back next time. But for now, this is Blind Views. And totally Kathy. Peace. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.